Take a look. All that dirt and gravel between the trees so close to homes and businesses, that's not a walking trail. That's supposed to be the purple line. Chopper 4 showing us huge swaths of land that have essentially been empty work zones for over two years because of cost and contract disputes with this light rail project between Bethesda and New Carrollton. And according to Maryland leaders, the cost of the project has now skyrocketed from about $5.5 billion to over $9 billion. And residents like Leslie McKay say they've had enough. It's a mess. Look. I mean, everywhere you look in this whole area is this huge construction that just came to a screeching halt and is not completed. Businesses have been closed or had to move. Lives have been changed. Well, yeah, one of the most noticeable places where the Purple Line work has stalled is right here in Chevy Chase, Connecticut Avenue. This is the bridge over Connecticut Avenue that's actually going to carry the trains. And look, it's basically just half finished. But what has been going on while the work has been stalled is all this construction right around the Purple Line, all this development here strictly because the Purple Line is coming. Yes, around the planned stations, there is development, but the project itself hasn't kept pace. Yeah, I think it's just taking a while. I mean, we all knew it was going to take a while. You know, it's just, I mean, I don't even know when they're going to be done. Today, the Montgomery County Council getting a chance to grill state transit leaders about the progress of the rail line. Many arguing that the nearby beloved Georgetown Branch Trail, which has been closed in large part because of the project, needs to reopen as soon as it's safe to do so. Okay, I'm going to strongly urge you to find any and all opportunities to be able to open the trail. The good news, a new agreement has been reached with a new contractor, and there are signs of some work resuming. This huge pit, this eventually will become the Bethesda station. Along the Purple Line path, Adam Tuss, News 4. The Purple Line was originally expected to open this year. Instead, the earliest time frame now for opening, 2026. Wow.